Hey everybody, it's Lot here, and you know, tonight is the first blood moon, I'm going to film that tonight, so it's the end of the world, all that fun stuff. So I thought what I would do today is come out here and build a rocket stove out of cinder blocks. First I'll show you the pieces and explain how it works. So what we have is, this is like the damper. Um, we just have <clears throat> this cinder block here and it's vertical this way and this is where you're gonna build the fire. And then in here, you can see I've already tried it. We have a cinder block here, one on the bottom. Now here's where I'm gonna need you to come in close. So come check this out. Now I've got these smaller blocks, <clears throat> which are the chimney, going up like that. And then this block, I have knocked the top out of it and made it into an H block. Can you see that on camera there, Luke? Okay. Yes. All right, so I built the fire down in there and I accidentally cracked it in half. So I'm gonna fix that here in a second. And then down here, for some reason, there's a pair of socks right there. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I took a drill bit and I drilled five holes down through the top of this block so that the air, the idea is you want the airflow to suck up underneath the fire. So I'm gonna put this all back together and I'll show you how it goes together. So you got the block on the bottom. They sell H blocks that actually come with the top and the bottom removed, but I couldn't find them anywhere. And I looked all over the place. And then you put the chimney on top like that. Like that. And then right in front of here, just so you have more of an area to build the fire. You just stack it up like that. You can build your fire in there, put more wood or weeds down in the top. And I figured out if you face the opening right here towards where the wind is blowing, what it does is the air drafts in and up through the holes and with very little wood or kindling or weeds, you can focus the direction of the fire so much that it gets really hot and then you can it creates like a vortex up in the chimney and then you can cook on top of it. So it's really cool. So I went ahead and mortared this and what I did was I used 50% plaster of Paris and 50% sand. And then you just add in water until it becomes kind of like wet cement. And then it doesn't really matter how it looks. You just kind of put it on there. And uh, while you wait for that to dry, it only takes about 20 or 30 minutes. You just practice your fishing. <laughs> Oh, almost. I fell off the zip line and broke my arm. Yeah, he broke his arm going off the zip line. Broke, cracked the whole head off of his radius bone in his forearm, and he didn't even complain. And so he went like two weeks without even going to the doctor. We didn't even know it. Was until it, we noticed it was still puffy, and then he got an x ray. Sure enough. Hey, back, back. He's sitting on an egg. Huh? I see. Are you? I won't see any eggs in there. Let's come check over here. Hey, Bark Bark. Are you sitting on an egg? Oh, this one's mean. <laughs> you be nice now, Bark Bark. You got any eggs under there, huh? No? Okay. You must be getting ready to lay them. There's a good bok bok. Good bok bok. Okay, so now I'm gonna build this from the ground up. We've got the cinder block here with the five holes in the bottom. We've got our H block with the top knocked out. The mortar's pretty dry on here already. It's still a little bit damp, but once we get the fire going, it's gonna be fine. So now we just 
put it together like this. We just put this block in the front, right here. And then we put one on top of here. And another one on top of there for the chimney. All right, now we're ready to build the fire. Now, just to show you how efficient this is, I'm just gonna take a little bundle of weeds and shove up in there. A little bit of toilet paper, just to get it started. And we're gonna light this thing up. See how fast it catches the air? And already, intense heat flame and a vortex of fire coming out the top. Very cool. Now when you're ready to put it out, just put a piece of cinder block on the top or another cinder block up there. And then one right in the front. Put the fire out and there you go. That's how you build a simple rocket stove. Now check out the blood moon. I'm going to film it up in the sky as soon as the sun goes down. It's going to be awesome.